Uh, hello and welcome to this uh, full product demonstration of Logix One B2B portal for Zoho CRM. Just before we get into the demonstration, let's talk about uh, what Logix One B2B portal is for and what it basically does. Um, its intent is to be used for companies that run uh, Zoho CRM that are looking for a simple way for their wholesale or B2B, business to business type customers to be able to place orders directly into their Zoho CRM environment uh, at agreed pricing. So the typical scenario is you have a wholesale account that might be buying um, um, items from you for resale or they could be buying services off you, um, but they do so on an account basis and you have agreed special pricing with them. Um, uh, so that what you want is instead of them having to send you emails and PDF documents and spreadsheets with their orders, they can simply log in to the B2B portal um, uh, with their uh, personalized email address and, and password and then see the products that they want to buy on a regular basis and the prices that you've agreed with them and then they can simply place orders in there and those orders will come directly into Zoho CRM as sales orders and then if you have the additional sync to Zoho inventory you can sync that order directly to inventory in one click or actually do it automatically and the benefit is that one um, it's an easy way for your customers to place orders. They can quickly find their pricing um, and, the, uh, and see only the products that they buy on a regular basis. Um, and of course, if, when they all enter the information, it's them typing the information basically into your system. So it reduces mistakes and speeds up transaction time, which is obviously great for a lot of businesses. So with that, let's get started. All right. So basically um, to create a b2b account is quite simple you use your uh, native zoho accounts module which we have here um, and then you can select um, basically any account and create a b2b portal for it so i'm going to select this one here which is the hilton hotel um, and i'm going to provide them access to their b2b portal so the first thing i need to do is basically tick this little button here which says that we're going to activate them in the b2b portal Okay, once we've done that, we need to provide a little bit more information. Um, what we'll do is we'll just edit the record. All right, and then just scroll down here to the B2B account information, and we will give it some information. So the first thing we need to do is give it an email address. This is the email address that the customer will use to log in um, to the portal. So what I'll do is I'll just generate an email address here, and then I'll just paste that in. Uh, so that's the email address that the customer is going to use. Uh, we then have this concept called discount groups. Discount groups is like buying groups. You can allocate accounts to different buying groups and these different discount groups represent different percentages of the list price. Um, so you can set these up. Um, so basically, you know, for example, yellow might be 15% off, gold might be 25% off, what have you. And you can name these to whatever you so choose. Uh, I'll just click yellow for now for this. Um, then we have what's called tiered discounts. Tiered discounts um, allow you to set uh, discounts based on the quantity of items uh, purchased. So if a customer is buying between 1,000 um, and 2,000 items, they might get an extra 5% off. Uh, if they're buying between um, 1,001, uh, sorry, 2,001 and 3,000 items, they might get, <coughs> excuse me, an additional 15% off. Revenue discounts work the same way. Um, they basically allow the, uh, give the customer additional discounts based on the total order value. So if the order is between zero and a hundred dollars, there's zero percent discount. If the order is between one hundred and one and two hundred dollars, there's five percent discount. All right. <clears throat> so then we've done that. So the next thing we want to do is add products um, to this accounts. Um, uh, B2B portal. So we simply come to the B2B products list, we come to the first one, we click here and we search for products. Now these products come directly from your Zoho products module. All right, so it's very easy um, to, um, to select products. I'm just going to add another row and we'll add some more products. Yep. 
these can be anything. Uh, obviously, products can be services. Uh, they can be retail products. It could be like coffee. If you're selling coffee, they could be like uh, cleaning services, um, such as window cleaning or whatever it might be. It could be um, install services, anything. So I'm just going to add these randomly here, all different types of products. Okay, so basically that's it. Um, in addition, you can also upload, um, sorry, before I go on, you can also add a customer documents. So let's say you've got a purchase agreement with your with this particular customer. Maybe it's a quote, maybe a proposal. You can select that from here. So let's just do that now. And what we'll do is just select that document there and then open that, let that upload and then attach file okay so we basically provided all the information we haven't set the pricing yet and I'll show you the reason why so what we'll do right now is we'll just save that okay so that account's been saved and then you'll see all the information here what we'll do is just refresh the screen once more and then you'll notice that it's pre-populated all of the pricing here okay so the um, the pricing has been populated. Now you'll notice that the full price for these, the unit price is $125, but this has been um, marked down to $62.50. That's because we've added this account to the yellow discount group, okay? Um, now you'll see in the sub form, um, you'll see it's, it's given you a portal price. Now the portal price is what the customer will actually see, okay? Now, if we want to, we can at this point go in and edit those prices directly so we can come down here. We can actually add customer SKUs in here. So this could be the customer zone number. Okay, and then we can also apply additional discount. So let's say we're going to give this customer an additional 10% on that product, and we're going to give them additional 5% on that product. Okay, um, so then we just save it again. All right, so we've got all our information here. We've got our pricing set. The first thing that we need to do with every account is actually create this customer's B2B portal. So we come to our buttons, we click sync account with the B2B portal. We wait for a few seconds. And there we get the success. So the account has been successfully created. All right, so we close that. We really only need to do that once. That basically creates the customer's account, okay? But it also synchronizes their information, um, such as the fact that they they get tiered discounts and revenue discounts, plus it synchronizes things like attachments. Okay, so we've done that. And then all we need to do then is sync the products with the B2B portal. So this is basically now pushing these products up to this customer's B2B portal. Um, and so anytime you make a change to this pricing, you want to click that button so that those prices get synced out. And there you can see we've been successful. Okay, so we'll just close that. Okay, so that, that's basically it. You can do this for as many accounts as you want um, with inside uh, Zoho CRM. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll now switch over and pretend that we're the customer. Okay, here we are in the customer's inbox and you can see that they've received an email. Okay, and the email provides them the URL, their email address and their password to log in. So all they need to do now is copy this URL and into, a, uh, into another tab and they'll then be able to log into the portal. They use the email and address and the password provided. and the password. So again, what I'm doing now is I'm logging in as the customer. Okay, and then I'm gonna sign in. Okay, the first thing they're asked to do is reset their password. Um, if they want to do that, we won't do that at this point, but they can do that there. Um, you can also reset um, if the user, uh, if the customer forgets a password, you can also reset the password to the default from the CRM. Uh, and then if you go over to here in the section, we drop the box down, you can see they can upload their own logo here. Um, they can change their password from the profile. Um, 
and uh, then we've also got help on how to use the, the tool as well and they can log out okay so now they've logged in and um, we'll go back to the home so across the top we've got how many products um, that they can purchase and you can see those here it'll um, I'll run through that in a bit in a second. We'll just go back to home before we go through that. Uh, how many process orders, what's in their shopping cart, and any discounts that apply to them, such as tiered and revenue discounts. You'll also see um, um, the company overview. That's your company's detail. So who your, what your support email address is, uh, what the... Um, contact number is any shipping addresses and I'll talk about that in a second plus orders that have been processed all right and then moving down the, the menu we'll leave products for the moment but basically this is their product here and we'll go through that as we place orders uh, then documents these are the documents that have been shared so you can see there's that document there that I synchronized from the CRM so you can load up documents here and they, they could just be anything contracts proposal documents basically what you want the customers to see here um, and then we have shipping uh, we have shipping um, addresses now this is important the customer needs to create shipping addresses um, and so what this means is that the customer can place orders but ship to multiple locations all right so let's just add a shipping address here and we're just going to add these basically to make it quick. And then also they can add in default shipping notes. So let's say um, for the off office address, it's always attention uh, Tim Phillips. Okay. And then also the default tax code. Um, so these tax codes are based on um, are based on your settings, your regional settings. Um, so these can be pushed out, but you can also enforce tax codes as well. Um, for example, if you're in America, each state has its own different tax code, so you can allow um, you can you can set those from here. All right. So then we'll just basically save that. All right, and so you can see we've got that that office address there um, and you can so the customer can create multiple um, office uh, addresses shipping addresses okay next moving down we have our tiered discounts okay so this is what we set before so these are the tiered discounts so if the customer orders any quantities between uh, zero and 100 they get zero if it's 101 to 200 they'll get five and so on then we have revenue discounts which is very similar but applies to the total order value so again, the customer orders between zero and five hundred dollars, I get zero percent discount. Five hundred one to a thousand, they'll get five percent discount, and so on. All right. So now the customer wants to place some orders. So they go back to the product section. You'll notice that the images have been um, uploaded here. Um, if the image is set in the CRM uh, product record, then that will be synchronized out to here. And you can also add multiple images here as well. You'll notice we haven't got those here, but you can actually upload multiple images uh, here. So if you've got different versions of, of your product. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go back to the products. Okay, let's order um, 100 of those. Let's make 105. We'll add it to the cart. And let's order um, uh, 250 of those. Okay, so we've added those to the cart. Again, this is the customer. Let's go to the cart now. Go to the checkout. All right, you can see we've got our items here. You can see the top one, we've actually had 5% added to the discount. And the bottom ones had 10% based on those quantities, based on the tiered discounting structure. All right, uh, now obviously the customer needs to put in a purchase order number. Just before I do that, um, so now the, the they can put the purchase order number and now the customer needs to, to select where they want the item shipped to. So they come to the shipping addresses, they click office address, and then you can see that that pre-populates out this information. And they can add more here. All right. Uh, they can upload a purchase order document. I guess use the same one. Okay, so everything's there. There's a total lot of value um, that's there, the amount of, amount of tax and so on, the shipping address and the note. So then all they need to do is place the order. All right, order's been created successfully. Now if we go down to under cart, 
and we go to my orders, you'll notice that there's that order. All right. And it's basically all there. Um, and you can see that it's in draft status. So now what we'll do is we'll come back into the CRM. All right. We're in this account. We'll refresh this account. And you'll notice that there are now six orders. And there's that order that's just been received. Okay. Uh, you can see that the office address has been put in here as the shipping address name, um, plus the shipping address details. Um, you can see the products here. You can see the additional discount. You can see the tax rate. So all of that information has flowed through from there. Um, into the order itself. You can see the notes here in the description and you can see the purchase order that the customer has uploaded. All right. So basically uh, that's kind of uh, very quickly what it does and placing an order into CRM. Now, in addition, um, we also have the ability to be able to synchronize the sales orders into Zoho inventory. Now you can either do this in this system. We've got it set up automatically, but you can also do this um, manual. Uh, we can also do this by a click of a button. So we can basically have the order come in here and have say the salesperson come up here and click this button here and it will create the order in this demo system. It's automatic. So automatically what we've done now is also created an order um, inside Zoho inventory and you can see that it's returned the Zoho inventory order URL link the, the um, inventory uh, sales order number and the status and then all I need to do is click that and you can see there's that order okay so now we have the order in the CRM now we have a copy of the order in Zoho inventory and now we can process that order here so what we'll do is we'll just mark that as confirmed Okay, you can see it's confirmed. And then we'll just go back to the order and we'll just refresh that. And we'll scroll down and now we can see that the order has been confirmed. So the inventory status is mapping through to the order in the B2B portal. And if we go back into the B2B portal, that is what the customer is seeing. Uh, and we go to home, we'll notice here that that order has been confirmed. Okay, so the status is flowing from the in, from Zoho inventory into the CRM sales order and out to the customer. So now the customer can come in and get status updates on their order. Now, of course, because it's all using Zoho CRM, you can create multiple emails email notifications very simply um, to automate the updating of information to your customers, to your internal inventory team, whoever it might be, you can automate all of that through here. Um, so yeah, basically um, that's it. Very quickly, there's there's a number of other functionality uh, and setup that the, um, that the system can do, um, such as um, uh, customizing the look of the portal itself, changing the tiered discounts, changing the group discounts and so on. Um, but this is a very quick demonstration of, of the functionality of Logix One B2B portal for Zoho CRM. Uh, we hope that we you see the benefit of it. If you're looking for a um, personal demonstration, please do reach out to us. Um, and also please note that we are able to customize um, the port the, the portal, but also your Zoho CRM environment to meet your workflow um, quite quickly and, and cost effectively. So again, please do feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for watching.